Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. When a patient visits us for fertility treatment, the most important thing that we ask before we start anything is the age of the couple basically. So how old is the wife, how old is the husband. But it's very important and critical to take into account the age of the wife. What happens is basically as a woman progresses in her age, the egg number and the quality come down in the ovaries. It's called low ovarian reserve and it's a very natural process which happens after 30. Now after 30, it's not like a switch button where it just slams down. It's just that it very slowly declines in number and quality. When a couple comes to us, what's very important other than age then becomes the history. So in history, we take a lot of surgical history, medical history and a lot of things. But we also try to understand how long they've been trying for uh, pregnancy. So if a couple is under 30 years and they've been trying for a year with unprotected intercourse and they've not been able to get pregnant, then it is called as infertility and we begin to do the um, uh, investigations which are required to see where the issue could lie. It could be in the female or the male, but that's when uh, you should start getting investigations and tests done and consult a fertility specialist. About 80% of couples uh, in that age group with, the, with unprotected intercourse will fall pregnant in the first year of trying. Now when it comes to advanced stage, suppose the couple is above 35, the woman is above 35, closer to 40, you should try for 6 months only. So in such a case, when that couple which has had intercourse unprotected for 6 months and is not able to get pregnant, should immediately come for investigations and tests so that we can identify the issue and start the treatment. Now why is this discrepancy between age? Because there are a lot of physiological um, you know, issues happening inside a woman's eggs. Let's try to understand those. As a woman's age advances, the chromosomes inside her eggs can go through a little bit of disarrangement and uh, disorganization, damages, etc. You have to understand that the woman's chromosomes are aligned on a kind of a plate. Just try to understand that they are just aligned over there. When the age is advancing, the alignment could be, you know, not proper, could be uh, less or more of chromosomes could be disjunctional means they are not properly uh, dividing they could be damaged and all these problems could lead to issues when she gets pregnant and even before pregnancy so she may not be able to get pregnant even if she does get pregnant uh, she may be going through a lot of uh, miscarriages or she could be having previous children where there are all kinds of defects birth or mental defects or a lot of things. so these are the reason why uh, a woman with advanced stage can see problems with her getting pregnant when she comes for treatment or even in natural cycles. That's because their quality and the number is coming down. So how do you plan your pregnancy? Suppose you are above 35 when you're closer to 40 or just crossed 40. So how should you decide what treatment is required for you? Well, more than your decision, it's the decision of your body. What we do is basically ask you to get some hormone tests done, get some investigations along with the ultrasound also done so that we understand how your ovaries are behaving and what is your hormonal signal saying. So basically, it's a couple of hormones that we uh, test. FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, LH, luteinizing hormone, AMH, anti-mullerian hormone, estrogen, progesterone. These are the hormones we test and uh, that helps us evaluate your reproductive function but that has to be coupled with the ultrasonograph so both these will give us a fair idea about what treatment to offer to you so if your ovarian reserve is low based on your ultrasonograph and your hormonal profile we uh, recommend that you go for an IVF more than you go for an IUI so it depends on how your ovaries are and what are the number of eggs that we are seeing so this is a very critical thing to uh, for you to uh, take into account when you're taking a decision about what treatment to follow but more important than that try to understand that when you are at that age like I said the oocytes the eggs will have chromosomal problems the best treatment for you would be IVF because then you bypass a lot of things about you know uh, how whether the eggs are fertilizing or not whether it is implanting or not so what we do basically is collect your eggs mix them with your husband's sperms make the embryos and put them back into your uterus but that still cannot bypass a problem of miscarriage or or you know the embryo not implanting therefore there is a very good procedure called pre-implantation genetic testing where when the embryo is made the genes present inside the embryos can also be checked it checked and if there is any problem with the embryo, it can be discarded and only a normal chromosomally competent embryo will be put back into your uterus so that your chances of pregnancy 
increases so this is a very good procedure where not only do you make the embryos but you also get to pick the most efficient one so that you have increased your chances of pregnancy so in our opinion the best option for a woman over 40 who wants to have children and wants to get pregnant and have a uh, childbirth soon the best treatment protocol would be to go for an IVF with PGT with pre-implantation genetic testing so that we are very sure more sure than unsure that the fetus the baby that you carry is chromosomally normal if you want to understand more if you want to understand what your treatment options are how to customize it according to your body and your hormones please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you